Let me start this off by saying that your dresses look absolutely lovely. You, you are all absolutely darling, and it is amazing to see you. If this is your first time in a dress, I hope that you're experimenting with different things that you can do with your wrist, with your tongue, little little flips of the hair that you might expect, you might try. There's so many lovely, glamorous things that, that I'm honestly consider myself a novice at, uh, but that are still very fun to, uh, to give a whirl. I, I saw today uh, my father, not only in dress, but in earrings. Uh, which is, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, one of the many, many, many surreal things about this voyage so far. Um, there's, there's something about this trip, having done our last cruise two years ago, uh, sailing into the eye of the storm of the pandemic, not knowing what we were going to face. On the fifth day, we had a dress party, and it was very special, and there's something about this night and this cruise that's like we're going back in time to, go, I don't know, seal the rift back together. I'm so touched to be here. I, I've cried three times in the last hour. Um, at least once per day at, at what it's like to be here with all of you. And this, mor this morning, one of the things that got to me was just thinking about how much, I mean, I think we all feel there's some amount of an imposter syndrome in our lives in different spaces. And certainly in clear spaces, I, I feel that, you know, despite having, um, I've done the work, as it were. Um, well, I've done a fair amount of the work. All right. but, uh, I, you know, I, I don't. I feel deeply unqualified to, to speak about what it means to wear a dress or to, to speak about queer matters in general. But, well, I've learned so much from coming on this cruise, from meeting the people here, from trying to make this as safe and welcoming and open space for everybody. And it's so special that there's a place where everyone can wear a dress and, and no one says anything strange to them on, on, the, way, on the way to the Lido. Uh, yeah, you, you all have taught me a lot. Um, we keep trying to make this more inclusive, more exciting, more uh, fun for absolutely everybody to, to be here and participate. And to see all of you in your dresses, some of you trying this out for the first time, some of you wear dresses all the time, of course. Um, it, it just, it, it really, it touches me. Um, it, it, yeah. Um, Well, look, I, I love you. I love you all too. And I, I clearly had a few tequila sodas, so I, I think I should probably wrap this up. I don't know exactly what wearing a dress means to me. I just know that it's quite nice, and I know that I have at least one more that I plan to put on tonight, and I'm going to get into it. Um, but in the subject of getting into dresses, um, there are a couple dress cakes that will finally be served, including um, a beautiful and kind of haunting one with the, uh, an icing face that they have made. It's actually a disassemblable set of cupcakes, which is also quite COVID safe. So if you would care, if you'd care for a cupcake uh, that is part of a larger dress that sort of hauntingly looks like with someone here with long hair, um, yeah, you know, please. Um, you know, eat, eat my flesh, it's given up for you. <laughs> Couldn't be happier to be here. Welcome back. Here's to many more of these dress parties and many more Joko cruises. I love each and every one of you, and you all look so goddamn pretty.